As you guys already know, this is going to be a very chit chatty get ready with me because I have exciting plans for today. I also need to just like update you guys because I feel like it's been forever since I've done a sit down video like this. Here we are. I'm set up right in front of my window so I have some lovely natural lighting. This is actually my last full day of winter break and then tomorrow I'm going back to school in San Jose. So kind of bittersweet. Winter break was extremely long. It was over a month. Um, so I haven't been in school for a very long time. But anyways, I'm really happy about my plans for today and that I get to spend my last full day back home doing something fun. If you guys didn't know, my birthday was actually, I think three days ago? Yeah, January 18th and I turned 20. I kind of celebrated, not really. On my actual birthday, I hung out with Justin just because everyone in my family was busy or, whoa, shoot. For the afternoon, I'm hanging out with my sister and we're going to high tea in downtown San Francisco at the Rotunda, which is like right by Union Square. After the get ready with me, this video is gonna be a vlog. So you guys will see where we're going and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've never been to high tea before and my sister suggested that we go just because it's my birthday special occasion. We get to dress up and be cute and take fun pictures and just enjoy being a little bougie, I guess. Yeah, that's what's happening and I just wanted to film the whole getting ready process because it gives me an opportunity to talk to you guys on my actual birthday I posted on Instagram and a lot of you guys commented happy birthday so thank you for all the birthday wishes really means a lot to me and as I'm getting older birthdays are becoming less and less of a big deal which kind of sucks because birthdays are always fun to celebrate and I love celebrating other people's birthdays when I get nice little birthday messages here and there from you guys from my family from my friends just it makes my day and it just feels nice to be acknowledged and noticed <laughs> all right so what else has been going on in my life Oh my god, actually, I haven't mentioned this in a vlog yet, but the other day, it was actually the day before my birthday, my camera was set up right here, exactly where it is right now, but it wasn't fully secured onto the tripod, so I think I might have accidentally bumped into the tripod and the camera just fell on the ground on my hardwood floor and it messed up the lens and it was just broken. It was a very, very tragic moment for me and I knew that I either had to get it fixed as soon as possible or I could just go to Best Buy and buy a new one. Within the hour of me breaking my camera, I drove to a Best Buy and I looked at the camera section, saw that they had the Canon G7X Mark II, which is like the newer version of the camera that I have. I was talking to the sales associate and then he was saying that a lot of the times getting your camera fixed costs almost as much as buying a new camera. And I don't know if he was just saying that because he's a sales associate and he's trying to sell me stuff, but in that moment, out of impulse, I was just like, I need a new camera. Like, I can't wait to get it fixed, pay and wait and then pick it up. So yeah, I have a new vlogging camera and I'm using it right now, actually. And if you guys can't tell, like, the quality is significantly better. Like, it's really, really nice. So I guess this is kind of like a birthday present to myself, but I was not expecting to drop that amount of money because my old one was working perfectly fine. But yeah, that camera was a very big purchase this winter break and I'm actually not working at the restaurant that I usually work at during breaks. I don't know. I just wanted to really enjoy my time back home. I did have some birthday money, some Christmas money, so I pulled it together. I'm really sad because the other one that I had was actually a gift from my aunt, my uncle, and my cousin Macy. They got that camera for me as a high school graduation slash start of college present and honestly that was like the greatest gift of all time like when I opened it I cried because I've been wanting that camera and I wanted to save up for it myself I've actually had that camera for well over a year and it's been through a lot my camera has been so good to me I used it so much and pretty much helped jumpstart my YouTube career. I mean, it made vlogging so much easier, so I can't really be too mad. Brows are done. Hopefully they look okay. Oh no. Time for eyeshadow. If you guys have seen any of my other makeup videos where I get ready in front of the camera, pretty much use the same product all the time. When I find something that I like and it's affordable and everything about that product is so amazing, I, I change it, you know? My holy grail eyeshadow palette. Jacqueline Hill, baby. I literally have every single color that I would ever need. Definitely have it in. I don't know what colors I should use because I haven't picked out my outfit yet. I really want to do something girly and pink. Just 
because high T is super like feminine and I don't know. And then I'll just base my outfit around that, I guess. Babe, oh, that's really close. Oh my god, it's so clear. And it like blurs out the background. That's amazing. So I'm trying to do like a reddish pink smoky eye. I'm actually gonna go in with these right here. This is Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. These are actually my mom's. So shout out to you, mama. I'm gonna use this pink one right here. Hopefully, it turns out okay. Hello? What time is the reservation for? Okay. I will call you in a bit or like text you back. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Now for the rest of my face. It's time to bake. Gotta set everything and make sure this lasts all afternoon, all night. Oh yeah. A lot of people when they do their makeup they have a very light hand but I just I just go in which is probably not the best this is what happens when I'm in a rush you know just gotta speed through this yes that finish so nice and matte before when I used to put blush I used to put it like directly right in the middle of my cheek but now I learned I like to put it like right above where I put my contour and just kind of blend that in together Kind of gives you that more uplifted feel, you know? I'm using a liquid highlight, or like a cream highlight, which I'm in love with, and I'm almost out of, no. This is like the Becca Champagne Pop one, I believe. You guys, I am no expert with makeup. I just do what works for me. You know, it all comes together in the end, and that's all that matters. Now I go over that with a powder highlight because gotta amp it up a little bit. Put it right there. I even bring it like right there to my brow bone. And just kind of sweep it. Can't forget a little nose highlight. And the best part is setting it down. So I'm using this Mara de facial spray. And just melt all the makeup in, which I love. That's when everything just comes together. I'm gonna set my face one more time with the Fix Plus from MAC. I really overdo it with the setting spray, but it's fine. I'm gonna put on some lashes, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I know for a fact it ain't happening on camera. Mm -mm. All right, guys, so lashes are on, makeup is finished. But now I need to pick out an outfit really quickly, and yeah, I'm running a little late, so. Tower of goodies. Happy birthday to this girl! Yeah. <laughs> 